<laughs> Hi guys, it's Stacy from Art on the Rocks with Gear, and I just wanted to jump on and show you guys uh, this really cool project. Super simple, a super cool, easy option to kind of create cells and texture with gears, pottery glazes, and fun strokes. So I'm gonna jump in and do that. So the first thing I did, I'm going to use this rectangle vase, uh, and we're gonna do a transfer. So these transfers are beautifully printed, uh, transfers that we like to use for this process. Really simple, and it gives you a really great look, and it's easy for customers to see too. So I'm gonna just adjust and zoom you guys in close so you can see. All right. We're back, so we'll give a little close-up here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys these transfers. So I'm going to do the transfer on like the bottom third, and it's kind of like applying, remember the tattoos when we were kids? So it's just like that. You put the transfer glaze sides down, so these are Elon transfers. Uh, you can buy them online, and it's a great addition to your studio and exceptionally beautiful with gears glazes. So I've got the transfer side down, I've got a wet sponge, and I'm just going to dab that on, just like we're applying our little paper tattoo when we were kids. So I'm gonna get this nice and damp everywhere. Some people like to use a brush, I prefer a sponge. You can see that design starting to come through. You get a little more water. And just dab it on. I don't like to rub too much because I don't want to blur. And then to check, we can just peel a corner and see if it's coming off as much as we'd like. If I want it a little crisper and I want it to transfer a little better, I just fold it right back down in its spot and I continue to press. A little wiping is okay. And that is transferring nicely. I'm gonna fold this over and just continue it around this side. And then I can cut these in half and use the bottom half on the other two sides uh, if you wanna be conservative and instead of wasting half of it and we're just going to dab this on it's so pretty all right so step one we're going to apply the transfer to the bottom half of our piece and then i'm going to show you a glaze combo we came up with that creates these really beautiful cells like in a paint pour uh, on the top half of this and you can get creative and come up with your own combinations. So something we've discovered, we've played around a lot with um, Gare's pottery glazes and fun strokes. Um, and then we've kind of realized we can layer. And when you do, you get these really beautiful effects of cells like you see in paint pours. So for this particular combo, uh, we're using Pottery Peacock. I want to make sure I shake it really well and get those crystals going. I always advise our guests to shake in between coats so you can continue to get those um, good load full of crystals. So I'm going to, I love this brush, this big fan brush. I'm going to go ahead and dip in and we're going to get two coats of our pottery peacock on the top half. Now, before we cue the fast forward, um, it's like my favorite thing to say. Well, I wanna show you that where this line meets, I don't wanna be perfect. I think it looks better if you go kind of organic. So I'm gonna let this come right up over, slightly over the transfer. And I'm gonna go ahead and we'll fast forward and I'm gonna do two coats around the top two-thirds-ish and you could change that ratio on my piece. I'm gonna go away and come back when I have two coats on. See you soon. 
So we have a wardrobe change and a hair change. Uh, and this section is dry. So we've gone ahead and put a transfer on the bottom portion of this vase. And we've got two nice solid coats of pottery peacock on top. So I've done this with several colors and why not experiment? So we are actually going to use Blue Bayou for our top coat to kind of draw out the blues that are in this transfer. And what happens, these crystals pop and the fun strokes over it, it creates cells like in a paint pour. So it creates all these beautiful little gaps and spaces where our blue color's on top and those crystals pop through and it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply two nice heavy coats of our Blue Bayou right on top of our pottery peacock. So you can see we're just floating that on using a fan brush. And go ahead and cue the fast forward. And I tend to go very happy, heavy and let drips happen. And you can see all those crystals that are gonna pop through. I'm gonna let that dry and apply coat too. All right, so we're back. This level, level layer is dry and we're gonna go ahead and top it off with one more coat of Blue Bayou. You could use, I mean, you could use any color. We've done this with Lime Ricky over uh, Pottery Peacock. It was lovely. We've also done it with uh, Jumpin' Juniper. And it's really a fun glaze. It's, you know, right in the name, the peacock. Any of the blues, greens, purples with it are just such a nice accent. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this last coat on and then to the kiln. No, not chicken dance time. All right. And you could fold this over inside if you wanted to. I like the contrast of I have just the exposed um, peacock on the inside, which I think is cool. And I'm just gonna get this nice last thick top coat on there. One more side, I can't wait to fire this. All right. So, oh, you can see it. I'm gonna just spin. Ooh. So, spin, sorry. All right, I love this organic edge at the bottom and it's just dripping over this really nice crisp floral that we re we're able to achieve with the transfers and we'll be back when this is all fired.